All right, everybody, give you just a few moments to gather around. Go ahead and get a loved one. Tell them to come watch this video with you. My name is Jerry Goins here with No Vague Money, where we believe in inspiration, education, and opportunity. Today, I'm going to cover over the three secret costs of fixing your own credit. A, lo a lot of people say, hey, you can fix your credit for free. There's a lot of templates and things you can download, but there are some hidden costs that you may not be aware of. Um, so let's just get right into it. First of all, the Fair Credit Reporting Act basically protects you as a consumer and allows you to dispute things that might be erroneous or outdated on your credit report. You know, credit report are held by one of the three bureaus. You know, you got Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And the good news is, of course, is that you can legally fix your own credit. And yes, for free. Well, question is, is it really free? The number one cost, as you see here, is time. Okay, a lot of people do not understand credit law because it's not taught in school. So you're going to start off by investing hours in struggling to interpret the laws and what applies to you. After you've done that and you know what you want to dispute, you're going to spend days trying to figure out which letter to send to which kind of collection account or um, which thing that you want to dispute on your credit. So then after you do that, then you're going to spend more time going back and forth to the mail room, <laughs> the USPS, uh, being able to send certified letters. So you got to get a certified stamp on that and a certified hard copy, which costs a little bit more than postage than regular mail. Um, and then you're going to spend hours on the phone negotiating um, you know, and all this time that could be spent with your family, all this time could be spent, you know, uh, going to events. I mean, imagine the holiday season, imagine Valentine's Day, you, you have to, you know, make a run to the United States Postal Service or take a call trying to battle creditors and your boo much rather be with you, you know, eating dinner or something like that <laughs> or a baseball game uh, for your kids uh, or even just, you know, spending more time with them, period. Like who would rather be trying to dispute things off their credit report rather than just living their life. But we do have a solution for you. Uh, before we get into that, I'm going to continue on reviewing the secret costs of fixing your own credit. So number one is time, okay? I don't know how much you get paid an hour, but just picture that money coming out of your pocket because you're spending this trying to get your credit fixed instead where you could be working or building your business. Number two is mistakes. Let's say you don't choose the right dispute letter, okay? So you make a mistake of actually triggering something that was already going to come off of your credit report. Okay, so that's one thing that you can do is make a mistake of re-aging things. You can also make a mistake of having the wrong timing. Okay, so things have to be done in a certain amount of time. Usually 45 days after you send your disputes, the creditors uh, have to send you validation back. If they don't do that and you don't call them out on it, then nothing will happen. Just sending the letter itself does not get things off your credit report. You have to be able to follow up and send the right letters. And if you make the wrong mistake, then things can come back to you. Like, look at here. Like, it can actually go back to you. The cost three is you can go back to square one. Okay. So that's basically where I was talking about re aging things that are already going to fall off anyway. And then here you are trying to fix it, and now you got to start all the way back off at square one. Credit report, credit repair is definitely something you can do by yourself. However, you have to look at the, the additional costs, the time, the mistakes, and then having to start all the way back over when you can just let our experts at Nove Money go ahead and help you with that same exact thing. Okay, so just pay somebody to do it. You can also pay somebody to change your own oil, you know, in your car. Or you can get down there and do it yourself. You can pay somebody to mow your grass or you can do it yourself. You can pay someone to do your hair, you know, to, you know, ladies, you can pay someone to do your nails or you can do it yourself. There's a lot of reasons why you don't want to do your nails yourself. There's a lot of reasons why you don't want to cut your own grass or do your own oil. You rather just pay somebody so that you can get back to doing what you love to do. Okay. So let's look at what are the alternatives. I mean, first of all, you got to get your FICO score. So if you go to my FICO, um, you know, for twenty nine dollars a month, you can actually get instant access to all three of your credit bureau uh, reports. You can. Um, what else do they do? Let's just look here. What do they do for twenty nine dollars a month? You get your three bureau reports every quarter. OK. You get credit report alerts. I mean, a lot of people get that for free with Credit Karma. Uh, FICO Score Simulator. Okay. 
so that's that's pretty cool mobile app that's that's all good uh identity theft monitoring so that's good that it monitors you know the internet and the black web the dark web and one million dollars in id theft insurance so that's pretty good for 29 dollars a month all right but they don't actually fix your credit nowhere does it say anything about actually doing the work and disputing to get your credit score up this just tells you how good or how bad your situation is so let's look at somewhere, somewhere else. Let's look at Lexington Law, see what they do. So they actually have a service where it says uh, Credit Bureau Challenges. Okay, so they actually do the, the dispute letters. Uh, looks like $129 a month for their Premier Plus to get the FICO score tracker, the identity theft protection, personal finance tools. That's not included in the one for 109. As you can see, this is their most popular for 109, but they, they don't get the the FICO score tracker. And it's only $20 difference. So, okay, so $129 a month, you can get everything that would be compared in Nove Money. Let's see what Nove Money has. So, Nove Money Premium is $199 to enroll, and then it's $59 a month. So $59 a month compared to $129.95. Let's see what you get. You get Nobay Money Basic. Well, what's in Nobay Money Basic? Automated credit repair, credit education, debt elimination tools, online budgeting tools, Nobay Wealth Manual. Okay, then you get a personal account manager to help you uh, map out your plan to financial success. So that's pretty cool. You get three monthly bureau, three score reports. So that's monthly instead of quarterly. You're getting all three of your credit reports every month. Daily credit monitoring, text and email notifications, uh, credit score tracker. So over time, it's going to show you it's going up and down. Credit score budget planner. So that's good. You got the uh, master simulator. So that's the same thing in the last one. One million dollars in fraud insurance and up to three non-dispute letters sent monthly as well in case you had to talk to the creditors and, and negotiate and things like that. And it's not a dispute. So all of that for fifty nine dollars a month versus one twenty nine a month. Let's look at the actual cost then. So here I have a spreadsheet and for no bait money is one ninety nine for the first month. And Lexington Law is one twenty nine ninety five for the first month so right off the right off the jump you can tell that okay well you paid more for no big money the first month you paid seventy dollars or more to get started with no big money than with lexington law but let's look at the second month fifty nine dollars one twenty nine ninety five by the second month you break even Actually, you save a dollar and ninety uh, cents by being with Nove Money, and this process usually takes six months to really get the results that you want. So we're trying to get down here, and we're looking at the cost of Nove Money Premium compared to Lexington Law. So let's keep going. We're gonna go all the way down to month six with the fifty-nine dollars a month. So total with Nove Money, you have spent four hundred and ninety-four dollars. Okay. Let's see what you spent with Lexington Law for six months. $779. You overpaid by $285 in the first six months. I don't know if that makes anybody cringe, but that's $285 that you can be spending somewhere else. Remember, we were talking about family time. We we're talking about Valentine's Day. I know that's coming up. You know, it's February right now as I'm doing this video. So just think about that. Uh, and then also think about investing. You could have invested $285 into one of your investment accounts, uh, your um, your ETF accounts. Think of Acorns. Think of Betterment. Think of cryptocurrency. You know, just think of anything else. Paying down debt. You could have paid off one of your credit cards that you're trying to dispute. You know. So let's keep going. Let's go all the way down to month 10. So month 10, you've spent $730 with Nove, and you spent $1,200, almost $1,300 with Lexington Law. You overpaid by $570. Where else could that money be going? Let's finish out the year. So let's say you stayed the course. You, you hammered it through all the way, all through 12 months. You spent $848 with Nove, and you spent... A thousand 
$559 with Lexington Law. You overspent $711 for the year. That could have paid off a credit card. That could have paid a few car payments. That was a whole month's worth of mortgage. That was, you know, clothes on backs, food on table that you could have spent somewhere else and got more. Okay, no bay money premium gives you more than you get with Lexington Law. Okay, so that's just something that you can think of. Why overpay? Because you don't know any better. And now that you know any better, knowledge is power. So do something about it. Okay, and that's one thing why they say knowledge really isn't power because just knowing doesn't really make a difference. Knowing something does not make a difference. You know what makes a difference? Applied knowledge. Applied knowledge means actually using what you've learned to your advantage. It makes no sense to know that you can pay so much less for financial success and not do anything about it. Get with the person that's showing you this video uh, or get with myself. Just go to jerrygoins.com and you can contact me there uh, or go to getyournewscore.com and you can sign up directly with Nove Money and get your credit services started. New homes, new cars, new business, it's all possible and it's all within a click of your mouse. All you have to do is link up with one of us and say, I'm ready to get started. Doesn't sound so hard, does it? Let's get started and we'll see you on the other side.